15 months since Maria Sharapova last played a competitive tennis match, but her return to the sport isn't without controversy. While the eyes of the tennis world are on Stuttgart, there is a WTA event taking place here in Istanbul, and a number of her fellow professionals have spoken out against her receiving preferential treatment. But what do the fans here make of Sharapova's return? I believe that it will be good for her to come back to court again. She has a great, great style and uh, physics, and I like watching her. Sharapova is an important figure in women's tennis. She was banned with a serious accusation, and in my opinion, she served her time. I think she's an important player. We're looking forward to seeing her play again. Sharapova is a brand. We grew up watching her playing. Serena and her are the players that took women's tennis to the next level, and we really like to watch them play. I think Sharapova is innocent and wasn't aware that the drug she took was on the list. Despite everything, I think she was brave during that time, so I'm happy she's back. So there is plenty of support then for Sharapova amongst tennis fans here in Istanbul, and that really gets to the heart of the dilemma for organisers. If they don't give her a wild card, they're effectively turning away one of the sport's star attractions, who brings with her not just fans, but sponsors as well. But if they do give her preferential treatment, then they risk upsetting other players on the tour. Her first opponent in Stuttgart is Italian Roberta Vinci. Well, I think uh, my personal opinion is uh, I'm not agree about the wildcard here and uh, about the wildcard in Rome on the other tournaments. I know she's um, important for the tennis, for the WTA, for everything. She's a great player, great person, great champion, but uh, this is my personal opinion, but, uh, but I have to play on Wednesday against her. <laughs> so there could be a frosty atmosphere in the locker room in Stuttgart, and some comments from Sharapova's agent, Max Eisenbud, probably won't help. He claims that all those critical of his client's return simply don't want her to compete as she's going to be a threat at any tournament that she enters. As for the player herself, she maintains the whole thing was an honest mistake. I know how common it is. I, I know that it's on the vital and essential list in, in Russia, which protects along with ibuprofen. It's taken as aspirin in Russia. So to me, it, I, I can't even grasp my head around that fact. And when I first started taking it, um, I, I took it under my doctor's orders, and that's how I kept taking it for, for years.